Hello, welcome to Tech Abroads. Today we are going to discuss export C# -sharp data table to Excel or Microsoft Excel with column filter feature. Okay, and what we, what we will use in this? We will use Visual Studio 2012 plus C# -sharp, okay? And there are very easy steps that I'm going to share. So, let's start what we are going to do. So, uh, in this session we will learn how to apply filter on column dynamically dynamically means when we will export the data export the data table data into microsoft excel in that what we want automatically filter option should be there we don't want to apply this filter option manually okay so set filter at runtime before download as you can see on the screen i am highlighting what i am talking about before proceeding this video I will strongly recommend you to watch my previous video in which I have completely explained how we can export C# -sharp data table to Excel okay and I will provide a link of that video in the description of this video okay let's see how we can do this through code quickly in C# -sharp. So, this is the same solution that I have used in my earlier video session okay so I strongly recommend you to watch my previous video on how to export a C sharp data table into Excel okay before proceeding further okay but meanwhile I will give you a, a brief description what we have done so far so we have this dotnet concept uh, concept project in which we have this one uh, web form okay in which I have designed a grid view with giving some color create a button okay export in C sharp and on click on this export in Excel I have explained in my previous video how can we export the C sharp data table into Excel okay so we have created some dummy data you can see in page load but in real time maybe you will uh, fetch some data from database okay so that is not uh, uh, covered in this video which is out of the scope okay but for the timing I have created this dummy data which is a table okay now I have already explained these steps so uh, let's run it I will show you what it is generating for us document so by default the location will be my documents where it will download the data so by default on the web page when we will click on export in Excel then the Excel file will be downloaded in my document folder so let's check if uh, let's check in my documents is there any file already exist if it is there we will remove that okay so we are on document folder there is no such file okay so let's start our solution uh, now we can see page is ready I just want to show you how it is working right now before making changes okay so so I'm going to click on export in Excel okay I just click over here Now we receive the message data file exported with name C sharp data table export to Excel with this time okay and available under your system libraries documents okay so let's check either the file is there or not yes file is created let me open this file okay we can see this file is simply uh, uh, downloaded and created Microsoft Excel file and in in that we can see there is no filter already applied okay now okay we don't want to save any changes okay let's minimize this so what I am going to do now I will make some changes and with the help of that we will see this automatically uh, filter is applied okay we will go to the class file and for that uh, for the interest of time I have already uh, write this piece of code for you so that uh, I will explain you we don't need to worry let me apply it over here after creating all the rows and before saving the Excel file so what so what we need to do uh, to apply the filter at runtime we need to use the range object from intro Excel range okay and what we are giving we are mentioning worksheet dot get range it will specify the get range will specify the a1 a means the first column one means the first row it means we want to apply the 
uh, filter on the first row okay and this is the se second object which is system group type dot missing and on the second line what we are doing the object that we have created used range in which we are saying okay we want to apply auto filter from column one okay and rest all are the optional parameter that we have applied which is required for this auto filter method okay you can try with the different option i will show you what other options we can see yes we can see other critical object we can check auto filter operators if you want to apply so you can make those changes and see how it works so let me save these changes okay okay so let me run this solution and see uh, the filter is applied or not okay i just hit on the google chrome to launch the solution okay this one it says continuing okay now it is loaded we can close the old tab okay and let me uh, delete the old file as well that was uh, generated earlier let me click on delete yes we want to delete okay now we can see our page is success successfully loaded and if i will click on the export in excel button so we will see a downloaded file with the filter applied in microsoft excel sheet okay so let's hit the excel import i just click over here now i have received the message data file exported with name c sharp data file okay and this is the name and it is available under your system libraries document okay so let's check our document folder either there is file or not yes there is a file created okay the moment i will check this file okay yes here we go so we can see filter is applied which is a requirement from this video okay so i hope you like this video how we can apply a filter dynamically runtime we can apply the value as well i mean what on the basis of what value we want to filter this column as well okay already uploaded this piece of code on my blog so if you need that code you can check my blog for this code and you will find the link of my blog in the description of this video okay i hope you like this video if you have any question please drop a comment i will reply on that as soon as possible okay and in the next video we will see how can we add new excel sheet dynamically in excel okay through programming or you can say through c sharp programming okay so thanks for watching have a good day